It's a beautiful day for a swim, and you're enjoying a dip in a river when something grabs you and pulls you under the water. You struggle and manage to break free, but as you climb onto the shore, it chases after you. Before you know it, you're trapped in the jaws of a giant Nile crocodile. How painful is its bite? And what would happen if it swallowed you? This is your body on being swallowed by a crocodile. The Nile crocodile is the largest in Africa. It can be found throughout much of the continent, growing up to five meters in length. It is the second largest species of crocodile and the most dangerous on the planet when it comes to attacks on humans. Its bite is 100 times deadlier than a shark's, and they happen far more often. The Nile crocodile is an extremely patient animal, and it will wait for hours for the right time to pounce on its prey. But meat isn't the only thing on the menu for crocodiles. Why is their habit of eating rocks bad news for you? Attack! It's estimated that 200 people die every year from Nile crocodile attacks. Don't think running away will save you. It can easily outrun you, reaching a speed of about 14 kilometers per hour. When it catches you, it will hold on and try to disorient you by doing its infamous death roll. It will then drag you into the water. Here, it will continue to roll and pull you under in order to drown you, crafty crocs. You manage to escape the water, but it still has you in its grasp. Being swallowed. The crocodile has chomped down on you with its jaws a few times now. This isn't to eat you, this is to bludgeon you. After all, breaking your bones makes it harder for you to escape. The Nile crocodile can bite you with a force of around 5,000 pounds per square inch, more than any other predator. That's more than 30 times stronger than a human bite. But a croc can't chew. So once it's overpowered you, it will flip you up and swallow you whole. Its throat feels tight around your body, but it's flexible enough to force you through. Breathing will be impossible. Suffocation is inevitable. Digestion. Assuming by some miracle you've actually survived both the attack and being swallowed, I'm alive. you now find yourself in the stomach of the beast. Luckily, you have a knife on you. He's got a knife. Could you cut yourself out from the inside? That's a knife. Eh, yeah, well, no. I don't think so. If the knife isn't already in your hand, you won't be able to reach it, and you likely can't move enough to start stabbing. The croc is able to swallow you whole due to its ability to control a valve in its heart that allows its blood to bypass the lungs and flow straight to its stomach. This builds up carbon dioxide in the croc, providing it with plenty of gastric acid for digestion. The stomach will be like a toxic waste dump. The goggles do nothing. In addition to gastric acid, you might find some rocks in there. These are known as gastroliths. Crocodiles eat them to help crush and grate their food. As the gastric acid eats away at your flesh, the rocks batter your body, breaking it into smaller pieces. It will take about 10 to 20 days for you to be fully digested, and whatever's left of you will be pooped away. Survival. The likelihood is that you'll already be dead by the time the crocodile swallows you. But if you're attacked, you might stand a chance. Whatever you do, don't let it drag you into the water. 
gouge out its eyes. Pull one of that bastard's eyes out. Punch its snout or bludgeon it with a rock that, if things go well, won't end up with you in its stomach. Find anything you can to pry its mouth open. If it has you by the arm or leg and you can't get free, your best chance to survive may be to sacrifice that limb. No matter what you do, you won't be coming out of this battle unscathed. Damn alligator bit my hand. Oh my god! Okay, you've been swallowed by a croc, but what extremes would your body suffer inside an anaconda? There's a rabbit in here! Well, we'll find out on another episode of Your Body On. <laughs>